Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Where today we will be going over uh a while back, wait, a while back, you might remember I did a video on my least favorite Pokemon of every type. This video is the exact opposite. This video is my favorite Pokemon of every type. Get ready to be salty. Just that's my that's my forewarning for this video. My favorite bug type, Scolipede. I don't know why. I just like it. It's always been it's it's always looked cool to me. I don't know. It's got nice horns. It's purple. That's a bonus. I really wish there was a bug dark type. Disclaimer, a lot of the Pokemon on this list will be dark type. As you know, dark type is my favorite type. Oh, uh, yeah, my favorite dark type is Zoroark. And possibly my favorite Pokemon of all time. I don't know. As you know, I hate Lucario. A lot of people know that about me. I just do not like Lucario that much. This is like the opposite of Lucario. It's like Lucario, but actually cool. You know? It's... It's just an interesting Pokemon all around. It can shapeshift, which is cool. It's a dark type. It's a fox. As you know, I like foxes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something very cunning looking about it. And it's a fellow lanky boy. So it has my respect there. Anyway. My favorite dragon type has got to be Hydreigon, once again. Another, uh, another, of course, dark type. Um, you see, not only is it a dark type with three heads, which is pretty cool, but it also, it, its name has a German origin, and you know, And you know, I'm gonna like that. <clears throat> because my whole town here is like decked out completely with German architecture. So I've grown a taste for, I've grown a taste for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it has a German name origin, which is a plus for me, I'd say. It has three heads. Pretty cool. It it has good stats too. A lot of people like it. You know, a most Pokemon on my list are not ones that people would say are some of their favorites. So the but this is definitely one of them. That is definitely a lot of people's favorites. And plus, its wings, its wings design is just so creative. Need I say more? My favorite electric type is more Peko. Now, you may remember from my Pokemon camp, but I'm doing the voices video, that I have that more Peko in my team. You remember, he was the one who always wanted the curry. That was a funny video. And that, but that's, that video is besides the point. Morpeko is downright by far the, the best Pikachu clone. Mimikyu doesn't count as a Pikachu clone. Just saying. I mean, I still like Mimikyu. But I'm just saying for the record here, Mimikyu is not a Pikachu clone. Anyway, Morpeko is 
More Pecos Aura Wheel comes in handy in so many situations. Because because of the fact that it can change types, you know? It can be very useful. It's full belly form and hangry form. It can switch between the two and make it either electric or dark. A very useful ability. And plus, it's just really cute. In both forms. It's got a great color scheme, especially in the hangry form. And it's based on a guinea pig. I mean, guinea pigs are cute. I bet we can agree on that. My favorite fairy type is Tapu Bulu. Now, if you had watched my least favorite Pokemon of every type, if you watched that video, you'll probably remember me saying that out of all the island guardians, Tapu Coco gets too much attention and that I just don't like Tapu Lele. So you probably remember me saying those things. And you probably remember me saying that Tapu Bulu is the best one. Yeah, Tapu Fini I'm neutral about. But Tapu Bulu is undoubtedly the best. The only good grass fairy type in one of the regions that had some of the only decent fairy types. Gen 7 brought us good fairy types for once. And Tapu Bulu is one of them. My favorite fighting type is Phalanx. I just think it looks cool. You all, you all know I don't really like fighting types that much. You all know I don't really like any type that starts with F except for flying type. Phalanx is just a cool looking Pokemon. Uh, that whole snow runt is a failed Phalanx theory that Noggin and Loxton made. You know what I'm talking about? Loxton made that theory about it. I think that theory is true. And I like its whole gladiator aesthetic. And that there's multiple of them. It's just a cool Pokemon all around. And one of the only good fighting types. My favorite fire type is Chandelure. As you know, I don't really like fire types either. Why do I not like them? Because everyone likes them. I'm just tired of them being so mainstream. But Chandelure is different. It's actually interesting. See, um... Well, yeah, it's a chandelier. Which you could probably see just by looking at it, obviously. But it's so much more... It's whole deal is so much more ominous than most fire types, whereas most fire types are like, eh, so flashy and cool and everything like that, you know. Chandelure is not like that, and thank goodness for that, because, uh, you know, Chandelure is ultimately better than all of those things. It just is. My favorite flying type is Honch Crow. You know, it's got that, uh, it's a crow. I like crows and ravens and whatnot. Uh, but also, I like it because it's, you know, it, it has a fedora. You've probably seen me wear my famous fedora in a few videos that fedora I got for one dollar at a, at a garage sale that it probably costed like uh, two hundred dollars probably at the store but we got it for one dollar at a garage sale that was a really lucky day to get that because I wear it a lot now um, you know it's like a, th a 30s Chicago Mafia 
It's the Chicago Mafia Pokemon. It's got a nice, stylish fedora. It's a dark type. Instead of having a fedora with a feather in it, it's a fedora made of feathers. What do you think of that? Yeah, if these were in the if these were in the Gen 8 games, I would have them. Wait, are they now? Is Honchcrow in the Is Honchcrow in it now? Oh, I really hope it is. But um uh, I'll look that up, I guess. My favorite ghost type is Spiritomb. Spiritomb is a dark type, so obviously that has it going for it for me. Um it also just, I don't know, there's something cool about it. It has some sort of, yeah, it's all creepy and it's got that weird smile. You know, you all know I like weird smiles. Creepy smiles, but not like, well, I usually do, except they're, if they're on a creepy doll. But still, that's besides the point. Spiritomb is cool, and you're not going to change my mind about that. I just wish it had a mega evolution or like a Gigantamax or something. Because it's kind of been like abandoned by Game Freak. I also like how in, um... I also like how... You know how it's like seven spirits in a tomb, seven evil spirits in a tomb? I like in, uh, I'll also put a link in the description to Pokemon Battle Royale by, uh, Terminal Montage. I like how one of the spirits that comes out when, uh, Spiritomb dies in that one is Justin Bieber. Because we all know Justin Bieber is evil. And Terminal Montage definitely agrees with me on that one. My favorite grass type is Cacturn. I don't know, it's a, it's a dark type. You know? So that has, that's something going for it for me also. Um, I like how it follows people and it just waits for them to fall in the desert. I don't know why, that's kind of funny to me. I know it's not supposed to be funny, but... Okay, I... There's something wrong with me that's not supposed to be funny, but I... To me it is... Well... Whenever we're watching AFV, I'm always laughing at everyone's pain. In all those home videos that they have. I'm always laughing at everyone's pain in those things, so it's understandable. <laughs> but enough about me watching America's Funniest Home Videos. That's not the subject of this video. Uh, I don't know, it's just an all-around interesting idea for a Pokemon. I don't know what else to say. It's an all-around interesting design. Is it? No one. <sighs> you know, it has a nice hat and everything. Yes. Yes. Making the video. Just hang out for a second. Okay. Hey. Hello. My favorite ground type. Levi's here. Do you have a new phone? Yes. What was that noise? My favorite ground type is Zygarde. Specifically 50% version. It's the best of the ones, of its forms. Cool color scheme and everything. It's also got, it's also a snake, so that's good. Um, I wish it was a dark type, but it, I guess not. Uh, 
The move Earth's power, I think that's what it's called. I haven't used Zygarde in a while. I got a shiny Zygarde from a... From a, uh... Like a... What's it called? A coupon... Thing? Um, uh, I got a shiny Zygarde from a, like, GameStop coupon for Sun and Moon. You know, I didn't use it very much, but I had a shiny, so that's good. I had a non-hacked shiny legendary at a time, so that was good. My favorite ice type is Weavile. We, we shouldn't be surprised on this one. It's a ice weasel. Ice weasel? Yeah, it... It had this, like, commanding look to it. It looks like a... It looks like some something straight out of Star Wars, like a Sith commander. Wait, what? You know what I'm saying? It just does look like that. It's a dark ice type, which is one of my favorite type combos. I called them matchups in the last video. Why did I do that? Uh, it's one of my favorite type combos. I think it's two type combos that just complement each other really well. I like using it in it's fun to use in Sun and Moon. Uh, not Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield. You probably already saw this, but my favorite normal type is Alolan Raticate. Now I know everyone says it's a fat, it's a fatty, and it's just really fat and ugly. Yeah, he gets that a lot. Uh, but I like it. It just makes sense that there should be a dark type rat Pokemon. It's fitting. Because they steal stuff. So I thought this is good. This is a good idea for a Pokemon. Even though it is extremely fat. And it looks like it's stuffing about 200 grapes in its mouth. My favorite poison type is Drapion. It's a dark type, so it has that going for it. Uh, how many times have I said that? I don't know. It's a cool giant scorpion thing. It's also a poison type. Poison type is one of, other, one of my other favorite types, I guess. Um, it's just all around a interesting looking Pokemon. I've used it in Sword and Shield. It's pretty useful, I guess. And I think it's pretty good in competitive, too. I mean, I'm not an expert on competitive, but whatever. Malamar! My favorite psychic type is Malamar. It's a dark type. It's a cephalopod. I like cephalopods. They're cool. They're very intelligent, and some of them can turn invisible. So it's just... So it's just fitting that uh, Malamar would be my favorite psychic type. And it's weird that you have to evolve it. Yes, it is weird that you have to evolve it by turning your 3DS upside down. Or your Switch upside down or whatever you're using. And, yeah, but still. That doesn't change the fact that it's a quality Pokemon with a good design based on a good creature. My favorite rock type is Midnight Form Lake and Rock. I don't know. It just 
it should be a dark type. Midnight form like rock should be a dark type. I feel like they made it not a dark type on purpose so that it, you know it would be good in competitive against physical attackers but still utilize a lot of dark type moves. I think that's why it's not a dark type. But it totally should be. Either way. Yeah. Cool color scheme and everything. You know. It's the only one of the lichen rocks that can stand up. Ugh. It's the only lichen rock form that can stand up, right? So I'd say that's impressive. It, it has a powerful bite. That's for sure. And it should have appeared in the anime more. My favorite steel type is Bisharp. It's just a, it's just a cool looking Pokemon. It's got blades all over itself. It's a skilled swordsman. Kind of reminds me of Count Dooku. It's a cunning bladed warrior. Some things, those are some things that I like. Someone who is cunning and skilled with the blade will always never cease to impress me. Favorite water type. This is the final one. Inteleon. I've got to say, it's one of the best starters ever. It's, it should be a dark type. It really should. Snipe shot got me through a lot, you know. Using snipe shot got me through a lot, you know. I one-shotted a G-Max Colossal with it. And then later I one-shotted a... I one-shotted a Gigantamax Colossal with it. And later one-shotted a Dynamax um, Gigalith with it. So, you know, pretty impressive if I do say so myself. So yeah, write whatever you want in the comments. Get into an argument about what the best Pokemon is. Be my guest. I'll link my Pokemon Amino in the comments. In the description, I mean. I'll link the link to my Pokemon Amino in the comments below. In the description box below. And you can check out my and down there you can check out my Gen 9 fan project of the Kennebec region. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. I will see you in the next video.